our sickness was also placed on Jesus. How was it placed on Jesus? The history and the Bible tells us that before Jesus was led to the cross, they scourged him. They tied him to a post. They stripped him of his clothing on the back and they took a whip and they started to beat his back. And the law did not allow to beat somebody more than 39 times. So he was beat 39 times with the lashes that had stones, sharp glass, sharp rocks in them. And sometimes these lashes would go into somebody's skin and actually get stuck there. And the person who would beat another person would have to pluck the flesh out of those things. That was the moment where every sickness you will ever face, every sickness that exists in the world was planted in his body. He did not need to go through scourging to pay for your sin. He needed to go through scourging to carry your sickness. He did not need to go through that merciless beating that most criminals never survived through just to pay for your sin and get you to heaven. He needed to go through that because some medical science articles have indicated that all the sicknesses in the world can be placed in 39 categories. No wonder why each lash was for each category of sickness that you will ever face. That each lash for, for each category of sickness that medicine will have no cure for those sicknesses he bore on himself we don't ask for healing because it's cute we don't ask for healing just because we want to it's actually been placed already on the on the cross on his body and because of that we can be healed because somebody say amen and the way we receive that healing is if you see your sickness on his body I remember many years ago when it was the first time that actually I witnessed a, uh, a, a healing or a miracle in our ministry. We were very young and my sister was struggling with the kidney stones and we went to this Lyle Washington encounter camp and as we were there Friday night and she was still on the medicine that will help her to deal with pain and she had kidney stones they were hurting her and as she was there we had a first session where we were teaching about the cross we were teaching about the fact that Jesus died on the cross and I asked everybody to do this that I'm asking us to do right now instead of focusing on your pain instead of focusing on the medicine instead of focusing on what the doctor said and the fact that that sickness that you have nobody gets cure of instead of focusing on how many times you prayed and nothing happened instead of focusing on the fact that you know what this whole healing thing maybe doesn't exist I asked people they said please focus on the fact that your sickness your sickness not your neighbors not your moms not your grandpas your sickness right now was on the back of Jesus Christ and we actually had that prayer where people we would actually put a physical cross to help people visualize that my pain he took it and then we ask people to do the second thing put your faith in the fact if he took your pain you can take his health you can take his healing and during that prayer I forgot that my sister was standing right there with kidney stones the service finished the next morning we were beginning to do a session she runs up to the front grabs the microphone and she's the sister so she can do what she wants and she says I have a testimony she said last night I was in pain when I was looking at Jesus who took my sickness but after all of that is was done pain subsided and I didn't go to the bathroom yet but I have no more pain I can press my body and the kidney stones didn't come out but they no longer there and they don't exist I don't know what happened to them and we don't care what matters is they are gone and the pain is gone because of Jesus' stripes can somebody say amen <laughs> 